And now, a glimmer of hope that could change the conversation on, on COVID-19. U.S. biotech firm Moderna says it is entering the final stages of human trials for its new vaccine later this month to test how well it protects people in the real world. Now, the annou- announcement came as the results from an earlier trial published in a reputable journal showed that the vaccine was and could prevent the virus from entering and attacking human cells. Our very own Pamela Sigi reports on the new development and why Kenya may not be among the first beneficiaries. For months now, scientists around the world have been in a race to find an effective COVID-19 vaccine. And now the U.S. biotech company Moderna says it may be a step closer to protecting people from the virus. The company, in partnership with the National Institute of Health, measured antibodies in 45 people it vaccinated. The results were promising. They showed the vaccine triggered immune response in all 45 volunteers who received it, potentially making it possible for the vaccine to stop COVID-19 from entering the cells of human beings. The director of the National Institute of Health, Dr. Anthony Foshi, held the study. No vaccine is going to be 100% protective. What we hope is that with a combination of people having already been exposed and a vaccine that's anywhere from 70, 75 percent effective, that there will be enough herd immunity. The trial also found that the levels of antibodies in the people who received the vaccine were similar to the patients who naturally recovered from COVID-19. Kenya's acting director of health, Dr. Patti Kamoth, was following the study closely. Out of the 45 people who were given the vaccines, all of them developed an immune reaction. They produced antibodies. Eh? Uh, of course, uh, The highest antibody production was noted in the last group, which was given a higher dose of 250 micrograms. No study volunteers experienced a serious side effect, but more than half reported mild or moderate reactions such as fatigue, headache, chills, muscle aches or pain at the injection site. But they subsided after a short while. The next step for the vaccine is a phase three trial, which gets underway later this month. The trial will recruit 30,000 participants in the U.S., with half of them scheduled to receive the vaccine at 100 microgram dose levels and the other half to receive a placebo or a substance without the vaccine. The first three trials will evaluate how well the vaccine can protect human beings from the new coronavirus that causes COVID-19. If those studies are successful, the company hopes to have a vaccine in the market between January and June of next year. As we get into the year of 2021, the companies who are involved in making the vaccines promise that we'll have many doses to the tune of a couple of hundred million. Probably the people in the first world will be able to access it first before it comes to the developing world. And you have seen the kind of protectionist measures that the countries have put in place. So we think going forward, some countries countries will insist on those tendencies. Experts say an effective vaccine is the best hope against a pandemic that has affected millions and caused so many deaths, nearly 580,000. And for virologist Professor Omwanzala, Africa and Kenya in particular must participate in these clinical trials in order to benefit in the long run. It is time now our Ministry of Health quickly put together a consortium to begin to think seriously of how we shall introduce a COVID vaccine in Kenya. And pick all these points because introduction of a vaccine is not a walk in the park. Mm -hmm. It actually needs a lot of thinking. And also ask, should a vaccine be available? We are 47 million Kenyans. Who do we prioritize? Those discussions must actually start now. Pamela Sigi, Citizen TV.